this is just a very quick update on the filter and the pond. Hi guys, the RDF is still working away, it's been going with the new mesh week and a half and it is performing, I have to say, immaculately, way beyond whatever I thought it would. I have actually changed the moving bed as you can see, it wasn't working periodically, so what I've actually done is take the pipe work out that I had I've dropped an 8 inch air stone in there and I've got my Air 2000 it's moving it a lot better I did get slight showing not much mind you but I did get a, a slight showing of ammonia in the pond doing it intermittently so what I've actually done is I have that on there now constantly now there is about 100 litres of media in there so that should be well boss of the job and now I'm showing no ammonia in the pond at all no ammonia, no nit nitrites I am showing a bit of nitrate so I am going to have a bash at a trickle filter I'm going to add a trickle filter to this system and see how we get on because nitrates have always been a bit of a problem since I've moved my pond because I've got no real pond plants in there lilies don't do much of a job at the nitrates so I want something that does, so I'm going to have a go at uh, building a trickle filter. But as far as the RDS concerned, everything is just performing superbly. I haven't found a fault with it yet. It is absolutely super. And I have still got the bucket on there. I will do something different with the drainage. But what I wanted to monitor was how much water we're getting through a day and I don't know what size that bucket is actually gallon and a half two gallon maybe I use about a bucket and a half a day it's using of water pond water which if you take your water changes into consideration is absolutely nothing so it's using very little water like I say probably three gallon a day which you want to be changing 10% of your pond water weekly anyway so it's just not a problem but as I say, um, I can't fault it at all. Let's go take a look at the pond. I have to say how it really makes the colour on the fish stand out. The colours on the fish really do look a lot better really show up fish are enjoying the nice clear water they seem to be enjoying it the sun has gone in but this is the pond at the moment and it's absolutely crystal clear see absolutely everything They're on, they see me coming with this camera and dive under that lily why I really don't know so that's the pond at the moment and I have absolutely no problems with it whatsoever I couldn't ask for better water it really does make the colours on the fish stand out when you can see them that is well impressed absolutely brilliant system See, I hope you can see one or two of the little ones down there. They're coming on nicely. Really well. Well, what I've got here is four lovely, tough boxes. Stacking boxes. I got them from the local DIY. I think there was about £30, £35, something like that, but they're really strong. 
and what I'm going to do is attempt to make myself a trickle filter. I have ordered some media, I'm not quite sure how much I'll need, so I have ordered some. So we'll see how far it goes when it gets here, and then I shall roughly know how much I need. I've ordered the Bio Home Ultra, is it? A Bio Home, anyway. Um, I've ordered that media for it. But that's for another video. I'd just uh, like to say and let you know that I have released the plans for this system. They are on my website and ready to be downloaded. So if anybody's interested, they're on there now. And like I say, you can download them from now on. Well guys, I've just had the shock of my life. I ordered some media for this new trickle filter I'm going to build and it come today and being as I'm old and still working in pounds and ounces grams and kilograms and whatever do fox me slightly but I was told this media is quite light so I thought would be quite big in volume so I ordered two kilograms of the stuff which I thought might do one box and when it came I got this <laughs> I was expecting quite a big bag of this media which is quite heavy and I was told it wasn't I thought one of the what I'd ordered would do one of these containers but actually it's I'm gonna want about four of them in one container so it's for 30 some odd pound I got quite a shock <laughs> But that's probably me just being old, so what I shall do is we'll have that in one container and I'm definitely going to move to something a little bit cheaper for the others. I'm certainly not filling the filter with all bio, bio home stuff. But I thought I'd let you know, you really don't get very much for your money. But there you go, that's me being old as I say. Well guys, I did say it was going to be a quick update, just to keep you informed. So, thanks for watching, do take care, and happy ponding.